This week on Monster Model Review, we have two classic Horizon kits. Back in 1988, Horizon Models came out with a series of five Universal Monster kits. These kits included, probably my favorite of the group, the Phantom of the Opera, my least two favorite kits, Dracula and the Invisible Man, and the kits from this episode, The Bride of Frankenstein and The Mole Man from The Mole People. These kits are around 1 6 scale and were all sculpted by Scoops Masasu Kosaka. Starting with The Bride, I originally finished this kit in 1992, but due to natural and unnatural events, she got banged up over the years, and a couple years back, I repainted her face and touched up her gown. I remember back then not caring much for this kit, because it only came in four parts and also was a pretty static pose, but after the years, I really grew to like it. The Bride could be built in two ways, one with a body wrapped in bandages, and the others as I did with the flowing gown. As with a lot of vinyl kits of the day, these kits could be built so you could move their head and arms. Since the gown covered the seams on the bride, I left the arms movable, but I glued the head in place. This was a quick paint up with dry brushing and washing for makeup with some detail. The Mole Man is one of my favorite kits in the series. I like the sculpt and the pose, and it was one of those kits that had not been done by the Aurora Model Company, so it was one of those must-haves. This kit was also painted in 1992, but survived where the bride had not. I may have given him a different paint job today. I chose my own color scheme, and I had a great time painting it up. For the Mole Man, I glued all the joints, but didn't spend much time working on the seams. I figured in my youth it looked good enough as it is. You can find these kits still for sale on the internet. I'll be repainting the other three kits, and you'll be seeing them on future episodes. Till then, you can find more videos at monstermodelreview.com and thanks again for watching.